Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting ring to episodes three and four of part three of Saki. So let's go ahead and get started with episode three in three, two, one, go. Oh, it's not okay. It's interesting that we're getting a past episode out of all episodes for now for part three. Of course. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> yeah, I mean, d look. As someone who was also a part of the big titty committee, like, yes, it one wrong move. Oh my god, no. <laughs> that makes sense. <laughs> the snaggle too freaking adorable. Oh, we not getting an opening today? Oh. Interesting. <laughs> well, you didn't ask. Oh. You did really. Girl. Different personalities. <laughs> yeah. yeah, just like you, Nautica. <laughs> The fact that she is over here fucking analyzing everything. Oh my
Girl. Oh, <laughs> she's adorable. Uh oh, not good. Oh, right. I mean, you can kind of just keep it to yourself. You don't want anybody else to know. I mean, you know, that happens pretty much with anybody. No matter who you end up playing, like, you end up taking a little bit of each and every person's play style and making it into your own. It's like being inspired, but you're not, like, doing a one-to-one -one copy of them. If that makes sense. How about both?
Well, I mean, because they are on a first name basis, babe. <laughs> the jealous babes are just so freaking cute. Like, come on now. Thumb up. Well, like Madoka, not Madoka, Monica from uh, Doki Doki. Yeah, and you play right into it. It's okay, you just didn't know. Those freaking Christ. Damn.
I mean, come on, did you think it was going to be anybody else? He wasn't watching. Because, I mean, she wants to know everything about his sister and meet her again, right? So, why not watch her sister's match? I mean, unless you still feel some type of way about her, right? <laughs> Damn. Poor baby. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. The dynamic between these two. Oh! Okay, so uh, as much as I would like to see Tacos win this next match, I mean, okay, because of course, my favorite Sayu is in this show, and she plays a fucking princess and such, and her team and everything. I would love to see her win, but once again, we're in a situation where, yes, any girl could freaking win for, for any one of their schools. Who knows? Now, I do love the fact that for the first couple of minutes of this episode, we did get to see Nadoka and Yuki's past, because, I mean, we've seen Naroka like talk about it time and time again then you have part two I could not be sleepy at six in the morning but I am um Naroka's you know her two other best friends aka part two's complete spinoff which is past and present day at the same time which was very interesting 
but I do kind of wish this whole episode truly was a past episode to see more of that dynamic of Nanoka and Yuki together. Because at first, like, yeah, I, I don't think Nanoka was like, I felt some type of way about this girl, but you know, because the way Yuki is, Yuki is like this big ball of sunshine and ish with a little bit of perviness, but you know, A, that's Yuki in a nutshell, but it's okay. And she likes tacos, so regardless, I think she's so, they, their dynamic and their relationship is very adorable. But I still think it is weird that, um, I'm about to say Yuki, Saki did not watch her sister's match. But the thing is, because she wants to essentially <sighs> so essentially have a better relationship with her sister, wouldn't you want to sit and watch your sister's match and support her in everything that she's doing, even if she possibly scares the crap out of you and stuff because, you, you know, of her aura and the way she plays and such. But I think at the same time, Saki would have probably over psyched herself out. So I'm guessing that's the big reason of why, okay, I need to step away from this. I need to get my get into my own head, get into my own zone, and focus on myself. But it would have been nice if she really did um, see her sister's match. But who really knows? We just gotta wait and see. But yeah, go ahead and pause the video and I will see you guys in one second for episode four. Alrighty, episode four in three, two, one, go. <laughs> yes, this dumb looking girl is actually smart. <laughs> See what's really gonna be ridiculous when she wipes you off the floor. <laughs>
great. I mean, hey, that's a start. Uh, I cannot speak. A strong start. <laughs> I know, that's right. Me too. <laughs> I can relate to her. She also gives me feels to Vivia from Brain Code. <laughs> <laughs> mm. You get tired. Uh, you shouldn't have not said that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that was I mean you know maybe to y'all yes that definitely would seem like that but that is really you know Yuki being honestly like 100% honest with herself but the thing is that's when you have inner monologues you don't say that ish out loud because you don't want anybody to know Yeah, because she really, she's been very quiet. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Yeah, but she changing the atmosphere with her boobs. <laughs> See, uh, the reason why she's unfazed by that, she's planning something. Like I said, she's been very quiet ever since this match has began. The other two are more responsive than she is. She planning something. <laughs> Thank God. Somebody is finally talking about that ish. She been quiet too dang long. Something about that's not right. Y'all are focusing too freaking much on Yuki. Y'all need to be start focusing on her. But don't focus on her too much. I'm just saying. <laughs> but she's not tired anymore. She about to. <laughs> They all know. They all have that feeling that this is about to be a game changer. <laughs> oh. See, even Saki sense it. Mm-hmm.
They have to be. Baby. <laughs> She's so cute. <laughs> Poor Yuki. I'm ready to go back to sleep. <laughs> What's up? That girl, right? <laughs> oh. I wonder if she's a pro. <laughs> She's got to be here for the individual section. Wait. Wait. You know, and, and I cannot believe I'm going to say this because me and her are probably around the same height. But that's a high school student. You kidding me, right? No, nah, I know when I was in high school. No, no, no. When I was in elementary school, I was tall. I still am tall AF. People thought I was I was 16. What the heck? What's she be eating to be that tall? Maybe she's playing them for a sec.
this might end on a cliffhanger. Because we got, what? We got three more minutes left. Yeah, but I think she meant to do that. See, and of course, of course she could do that ish. She's not releasing her ish until next freaking week. That's why she's been asleep this whole entire time. Because it's like, oh, hey, it is now time for me to step up. So now, not only do you have to have Yuki, you got home with the great hair, the silver hair girl, and you got Sadie Hayami's character to watch out for. All at once. This is anybody's game in the next two episodes. But yeah, this match was really interesting. Like, I love how really in the first half, Yuki was dominating. Yuki was not playing any games. She was like, I am here to freaking win. I am here to get this ish done so we can move on. But it is interesting, once again, how they have Yuki going first. Um, My thing is, I thought it would be student council prize, but... No, it, it is interesting. Also, the tall girl and how this girl is in high school. Middle school, ask. And she looked like a damn grown woman. I should know because I've had those situations as well. Because, like, when I was a kid, like I said, um, people thought I was, like, 16, 17, 18. And I'm like, no, I'm 12. And they're like... What? I'm like, yeah, I'm only 12. They're like, look at me like I'm nuts. They're like, no, 12. Says on my student, on my driver's license, or no, my uh, my little perm thingy that I had and when I was a kid. <laughs> or if you just looked up my information and be like, no, i like, yeah, you want to my year and this year and this day. Uh, both of these episodes are really good. Both somewhat of the match. It, of, well, it's not even a, two different matches. It's the same freaking match. But going into this, like, it was still good. Uh, Yuki is still dominating. That's the biggest thing. But seriously, the other two are hot on her tail. The other girl, she's really not catching up. But, you know, something could happen where any one of these four girls could catch up and over-dominate the rest of them. It's just about... We've got to wait and see. And that's the biggest thing because it's like super, with this show, it is super stressful. It is because you never know how it's going to conclude. So you, you just, you never know. Y'all know. I just don't. 
and that's really stressful because I want to know, but then I always have to wait like a week later. But other than that, guys, that's my reaction to towards episode three and four of part three of Saki, the Nationals. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next Saturday for Patreons and next Monday for everybody else for episodes five and six. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.